Hi besties, it's me Callum, also known as Chantal, the Primark Queen, and I thought, seems this Pride Month, why not do a coming out story time? Right, so the first person I told was my hamster. And my hamster wasn't bothered at all, and I love my hamster. My hamster is sadly no longer with us. The second person I told was my dog, and my dog's called Sophie. Let me introduce you to Sophie. This is Sophie. Sophie, I'm gay. She, like, after coming out to, like, like, just my hamster and my dog, I started feeling more confident with myself and, like, more free. Because, like, a few, like, months before that, I couldn't even say the words that I was gay. I, I just couldn't let the words come out of my mouth. I, I don't know why I was like this, but now, I, but, like, now it's, like, a few years later, I can just sit there and go, I'm gay, I'm gay. I'm, like, I'm, I'm more open about it. Right, part two's coming soon on how I came out to my besties. Besties, this is my part two of my coming out series. So the second people I told was my current besties at the time. And this is how I told them. But we went to the park and we was playing True for Dare, as you do. And basically, so it came round to me and I said truth instead of dare because I always choose truth because I don't want to do a dare. And they couldn't think of anything to say because it's like really hard sometimes when it comes round to truth. And they just went, are you straight? And I was like... Um. I went all nervous and then I thought to myself, if the true besties, they'll stay my bestie and they'll accept for like who I am. And if they didn't like me for it, guess what? They're not my besties anymore. Don't change for anyone because you're all amazing. And always remember that. So after I thought about it, I did end up telling them because I went all like nervous and stuff and didn't say anything. And I did tell them. And they were really supportive about it. And they were the best besties. But I'm no longer as close with them anymore because like we've left school and all that. But I know that they're always there for me and stuff and I'm always there for them. But just remember everyone, you're all amazing and don't change for anyone. Right, part three will be out soon where I'll tell my mum in the car on the way home from Home Bargains. I love Home Bargains. This is part three of my coming out story. Right, so after telling my besties over a game of truth or dare, I told my mum. This was about five months later after telling my besties. And remember, do it at your own pace and do it when you're ready. And when I did feel ready to tell my mum, I'd been thinking about it literally for like the weeks on end. And I just felt like I just wanted to tell my mum, but I didn't know how. And literally we was in the car on the way home from Home Bargains. And I just told my mum, went, mum, stop the car. And I broke down crying and we stopped the car. And I just told my mum, I said, mum, I'm gay. And she turned around and said to me, Callum, I've always knew. She says she'd always knew since I was a kid. I was like, oh. And literally just saying it to my mom, literally, I felt so much confident with myself. And I then started becoming like more of myself. And I, I wasn't putting on an act in front of people all the time. I was just being me. And my mom was so supportive about it all. And she, she was just amazing. And then my mom was there for me throughout my like coming out journey for like until where I am now. And um, she helped me with coming out to my dad as well. Right, part four's coming out soon, where I come out to my dad. Part four of my coming out story series. Right, so two weeks after telling my mum, I finally told my dad. So I was really nervous about telling my dad, so I asked my mum if she'd tell him when they went out, and I was gonna tell my brother at the same time as well, cause like, I didn't really know how anyone was gonna react. I was like, really nervous. And like th this moment was playing on my head literally for four years and I finally built up the courage to actually finally say something about it because so when my mum went out with my dad and I knew that she was going to tell him I went into my brother's room and I said to him I need to tell you something Kieran and I, I couldn't get the words out of my mouth because I was so nervous about it all and I sat down I started crying and then um he was like are you all right what's wrong and I was like I'm gay. And he was like, why are you upset? He was like, nothing's gonna change. And he gave me a hug and um, I was fine. And literally all my, literally since I was 12, I was worried about that moment. And when I did tell him, he got up and gave me a hug and told me nothing will change. And literally nothing has changed. We're still the same as what we was. And nothing has changed from it. And like, I'd literally been dreading that moment for so long and nothing did change. And it, it literally, it went, I couldn't ask for anything better. It was just, it was perfect. Right, so then my mum got home and I was like, oh, and literally everything seemed normal. Like, it was just like how it always was. It was just the same. And I went in to see my mum. I was like, did, did you tell him? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, 
oh, what did he say? And she went, he turned around. My mum my mom said that he turned around and said, um, she, he always knew. So my dad told my mum that he always knew I was gay since I was like six. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know then, but all right. And nothing changed from it and I'm still the same. And my dad was asking me stuff about when I was getting a boyfriend and that type of stuff. And it was just that and everything just carried on. Part five coming soon where I talk about how I felt and everything. This is part five of my coming out series. So after telling my mum and my dad and my brother and my closest friends, I then started feeling more comfortable with myself and I became more confident and I started posting on social media such as Instagram and I started just being myself more like at school, even though people at school didn't know, but I just felt more comfortable, like I could just be myself and I started not caring what anyone else thinks. And I just thought to myself, do you know what? What other people think about me? Guess what? I don't give up. Yeah. And I wasn't interested in dating or anything like that yet because I was like more like focusing on myself. And I just felt so much more comfortable and confident with everything. And it was just, that was just how I felt at that time. And then I told my mum, I went, mum, I'm not really as bothered anymore about who knows about me being gay anymore. Cause like my mum, she kept it really quiet for me. Cause I felt, I still felt really like nervous about it all. And I told her, I went, mum, I'm not as bothered anymore. If anyone mentions anything about it, or anyone asks you anything about it, you can just tell them, but um, only to the close family. And within a few weeks, all my close family knew. And they were all, they were all supportive about it all. And um, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And I love, I love them all. They're all amazing. Thank you, everyone. Part six will be out soon, where I'll get outed at school. Right, this is part six of my coming out series. In this part, I will be just talking about how I got outed at school and my reaction to it. So we were in PE, it was a lovely day. And then someone was having a go at someone for no reason at all. And everyone could see there was no reason why this person was having a go at someone. So I went over and I said, can you like, just leave them alone? And then he turned it against me. So I was like, oh. So this did lead into a little bit of an argument and then he brought my sexuality into it, which no one knew around school. And I don't know how he knew about it. So I was really confused about that one, but no one really heard anything about it. So I was worried about it, but I wasn't that worried about it because no one said anything to me about it. And then a few weeks later, we was in English and we was, I was sat there and then this girl turns around and says to me, Callum, are you gay? And I went, no. I didn't know what to say, so I just lied. And then the person from PE, which previously had a go at me, turned around and went, yeah, you are. And literally, I didn't know what to say. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then he was like, yeah, you are, you said. And I was like, no, I never. And he was like, yeah, you are. And then this girl was like, they're going, say you are. And I went, I'm not, I'm not. And he was like, yeah, you are. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then the bell went and I just got all upset. And um, I didn't really want anyone to see I was upset because like, I wasn't ready to tell anyone yet that I was gay. And I wanted just to keep it like, to me and my family. And I went home and it, it I don't know, it just, it, it knocked me back a little bit. But, but at the night time, I sat there and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm gonna go back into school tomorrow. Cause I, I wasn't gonna go. And I was like, I'm off back in school tomorrow and I'm gonna keep my head up high. I don't care what it's been telling everyone. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep being me. So I did, the next day I went into school with my head held high and I just, I just kept going. And I just thought to myself, do you know what? I don't care what other people think about me. And then I was also thinking to myself, I was like, why am I lying to myself? Like, I'm just gonna keep being me and not change for anyone else. And I did, I went into school and everything was fine and nothing ever got brought up with it again. And everyone was just so supportive about it all. And everyone ended up did find it out because I, I just, if anyone asked me any questions after that day, I was like, yeah, so what? Cause I didn't want to lie to myself anymore. So I was just more open about it. And remember, stay proud because you're all amazing and don't change for anyone else. Part seven, coming out soon. This is part seven of my coming out story series. So I met Dylan. A year after I came out, I was finally ready to start dating. And I thought, you know what? Let's start adding some people on Instagram. And this was before I even did TikTok or anything like that. I was just on Instagram. And then Dylan messaged me after I followed him saying hi. And I was like, hi, how are you? Who are you? Where, where are you from? I was asking all them questions. Do you like Primark? And we arranged a date to go to Primark together. So we went on the Primark date. It went amazing. I loved it. And then two months after we got together, we started doing TikTok. 
And it was Dylan's idea for me to be Chantelle and Dylan to be Stacey. Our first video is out on YouTube somewhere. And then a few months later, Dylan stopped doing TikTok, so I became the Primat Queen. Part 8 coming soon where I go to school as Chantelle, the Primat Queen. This is part 8 of my coming out series. So finally, me and Dylan had gone Facebook official. Hmm? And Dylan still hadn't came out to a lot of people, and I still hadn't came out to a lot of people as well. And um, when we both finally felt like we were ready, we did go Facebook official. And we both came out together and people were like comment on it and stuff and everyone was so supportive about it all. And after everyone knowing and me doing TikTok and stuff and all that type of stuff happening, I was like, do you know what? On my last day of school, let's go into school as Chantel the Primat Queen. So I did. All the photos are on my Instagram. It was honestly, it was amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better for my last day. I loved it. And then I went home, I posted quite a lot of TikToks that day um, on this account as well as my backup account. But ever since I came out, I felt so much more confident with myself and I went, I went to school as the Primat Queen on my last day and literally I would not have been able to do that three years ago. But thank you so much everyone for all the support and everything. It's been like a year now since I've left school. I think I think a year or two, two, I, I can't remember. And the Primat Queen still going, living the Primat dream.